find the domain of this function. So this is a root function. And so whenever you have a root function and the index, which is this number here, is even, and you're looking for the domain, if you have an even index, you just, you just take this and you set it greater than or equal to zero, always. So if you're looking for the domain of a root function and the index is even, just do this. So if there was like a 16 here, same process. If there's a 100 here, same process. If there's a three here, different process. In that case, whenever it's odd, it's just all real numbers. Okay, let's solve for x. I'll subtract two. So we get negative 0 0.5 greater than or equal to negative two. Oh, x, there's my x, it's pretty weak. Then we divide by negative 0.5, so we switch the inequality. So we get uh, negative two over negative 0 0.5. This is actually four, okay, this is actually equal to four because it's really, this is really two over one half. And then division is multiplication by the reciprocal. So it's two times two over one, so it's four. So this is really x less than or equal to four. Of course, you can use the calculator as well. Um, so it's x less than or equal to four. So here's four, and it's all the numbers less than four. So it's over here, all of these guys here. These are all of our friends that will be in our domain. And this here is an equality symbol, kind of. It's an equal to. So because of that, because we allow for equality, we use a bracket. And the bracket opens towards the shading. So the answer would be negative infinity to 4. right? And that would be the final answer. That's it.